Something strange is happening with the Dead Sea. A pool of water located close to the Dead Sea in the biblical region of Moab, modern day Jordan, has mysteriously turned blood red. The phenomena is happening during the Feast of Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, when Jewish people are to beg God for forgiveness of sins. Water from the Red Lagoon, just inside the Jordan border, is being sampled by the workers from the Jordan Ministry of Water and Irrigation to determine the cause of the unsettling phenomenon which is as yet unexplained. The images of the red water have sparked a furore on social media, with blood red waters carrying much significance in the Old Testament as one of the ten plagues God casts upon the Pharaoh of Egypt to free the Jewish people from slavery. As we remember, in the biblical account, God turned the waters of the river Nile into blood and prevented the Egyptians from drinking the full water in the first of ten plagues that came as Pharaoh punishment for refusing to free his Jewish slaves. The eastern shores of the Dead Sea where the blood red pond is located also happens to be where the two legendary cities of Sodom and Gomorrah stood before they were destroyed by God for their wickedness. The head of the Water and Agriculture Committee of the al Karak Council said that the authorities have been contacted to work on identifying the source of the water. But although the cause of the mysterious crimson waters remains unknown for now, According to the Jordan Ministry spokesman Omar Salameh, a few theories have been proposed as to why the lagoon, isolated from fresh water, could suddenly change color. The director of agriculture in the southern Jordan Valley said that this phenomenon is found in ponds close to the sea due to the presence of certain type of bacteria and red algae that love salinity which changes its color with the presence of sunlight. But this does not explain why the water suddenly turned red, while other pools have not displayed the same phenomenon, particularly given that the region experiences near year-round sunny skies. Other officials told Israel Today that the presence of iron oxide in the water could account for strange color change, but again, did not give an explanation as to how the iron oxide would have been introduced to the pool and why the color change happened so rapidly. Therefore, this change of color is still a mystery that has not been solved. The Dead Sea is a salt lake located in the Judean desert of southern Israel, bordered by Jordan to the east. Its high level of salinity, well over 30%, means its waters are incredibly rich in minerals and the health benefits of bathing in the Dead Sea have long been taught it, though it is so salty that the water cannot support marine life. Unfortunately, the Dead Sea is dying. The Dead Sea is roughly 31 miles long and 9 miles wide at its widest point, but it is estimated that the Dead Sea water level has dropped by more than 131 feet since the 1950s and is now reducing by around 2 feet per year. What is most intriguing of this anomaly of the water turning red is the timing. As mentioned before, today is Yom Kippur, the most holy day for the Jewish people. The Day of Atonement is a holy day established by God for the Jewish people in Leviticus 16. Biblically, Yom Kippur was to provide an atonement, literally covering for sin. During this special day, the people of Israel were even asking God for forgiveness for their sins they have committed in ignorance. Yom Kippur was a time of purification, recognition of sinfulness, recognition of God's holiness, and a time of repentance. Today, Yom Kippur is a legal holiday in the modern state of Israel. There are no radio or television broadcasts, airports are shut down, there is no public transportation, 
and all shops and businesses are closed. Most Jewish people during Yom Kippur participate in some kind of fasting. It is considered impolite to eat in public on Yom Kippur or to sound music or to drive. There is no legal prohibition on any of these, but in practice such actions are almost universally avoided in Israel during Yom Kippur, except for emergency services. Above all, this is a day of reflection for most Jewish people, where they look at their life and confess their sins. If you ever been to Israel during Yom Kippur, you will certainly understand the magnitude of this holiday. It feels like the whole nation stops for this day. In the air, you can feel the heavy burden that is released and confessed. This year's Yom Kippur will be very difficult for the Jewish people living in Israel. Israel has been closed to tourists and traveling has been restricted. It feels like the whole country has been sealed closed and the Jewish people separated from the world. Israel has been viewed as a model for dealing with the pandemic and yet infections are still growing, leaving many people asking God what is happening. Additionally, tension is rising due to the imminent confrontation with Iran that threatens to destroy Israel. To summarize this quick update, we have the Day of Atonement, water turning into blood red in a place where God judged Sodom and Gomorrah. For many people, this is just a coincidence that does not matter. But for some, all the anomalies that we see all around the world signal a call for repentance. Let me know what you think about this. Certainly the timing, place and nature of this event is very intriguing. Also, do not forget to subscribe to this channel to receive notifications about new episodes on Jerusalem and Israel. You can also support this channel by joining the Israel My Channel. This will certainly help me to improve and create more content for you. Have a great day and Shalom.